koto kuingo kote wini wini kini a hau e uru no te kahu o torongare e mo e wai tino tapu kia matu ki te hare mai ki kona e ia we tamari kia na mea mai waku matu e oku tupu no fa e koa hare ki rei re wahi tino tapu e mo. Parihaka was a different pa to many other pa. This was called a pa, pa pu wata wata. Pa pu wata wata is described as a battle pa, where it was like a boxing ring. If you wanted to fight, come and fight us in this ring here. Now, these people were special people that lived up on the pa. I know that they could have been women. They, most of them were men. They had a special name. They call kaikutu. Kaikutu means that they were able to live off virtually uh, anything that was around them. The pa itself is very steep. It's so steep that you would never be able to have uh, taiha combat, mere combat. For the intruder to come and invade the pa, they would have to go up these, uh, these specially designed tracks. If they were on the track, the uh, people that were occupying the pa, they would put water down the tracks, which made it very slippery because they had that white clay up there. As you can, can see, there's water here. There's a, there's a nawa here, it has fresh water up here. But if, as you go up Parihaka, uh, there are many aquifers coming out of the mountain itself. So to store them up on the top, because that was one of the biggest problems, storing them up on the top. So they, you would notice if you go up there, you would, you would see these square holes. Now they would line them, uh, not like today, they use uh, polythene or something or concrete. In those days, they used this uh, clay which was able to hold water. And now my understanding, some of those water pits wasn't only for, for drinking purposes, was also for, the, for part, of the, part of the weaponry that the people had up on the Maunga as well. Hopefully they'll get rid of all these ducks Hopefully they'll get rid of all these uh, doves because they're just left over of, of the mistake that these people brought in. I would like to see the Kaari area come back. I would like to see the Kōtuku come back, the Kōtuku with the, with the black bill. The old people talked about the flight of the Kōtuku when they could see it up on Parihaka. That was also the knowing of the migrating of the whales up the harbour, that sort of stuff. So the Kōtuku will play a very important part. For me, I would like to take all this, this written stuff that's up here now and replace it with the whareetaku o Ngāpuhi. That's what I would like to see up here, the main maungas. The important it was to Māori them, the, those maungas, those pillars that, that um, say that you're in the whareetaku o Ngāpuhi, those will be important to me. My vision for this is to have a 360 view from the top up here, to have a panoramic view of, of the whole area rather than just looking at a city. I'd be able to bring a moko up here and say, oh, there's your mung, you can see whakairi ora from here, you can see uruwiki or something like that from up here, or whangaruru, you know, those bays. That's, that's my goal.